As you work with arrays, oftentimes you might find that it's useful to be able to create the array first in a spreadsheet like Microsoft Excel, and then you'd like to be able to, to import that into LabVIEW. And also we'll learn how you can save an array to a spreadsheet as well. Make sure you choose the comma separated values format or CSV format for your spreadsheet. And then under File I.O., we have the Read Spreadsheet Sub-VI. Let's just take a quick tour of the terminals that are available here. Many of these terminals, and each is indicating their default values in parentheses, uh, many of these terminals, you can just take the default values and those work for you uh, in many cases. But if you need to make some adjustments, then you have some idea of what is available to you. So the main thing we need is the file. Oh, actually, before I move on, as what I'm looking at here is you can pick which data type you'd like to see on the output. One critical terminal is the delimiter, which we need to specify as a comma. So simply create the constant, type in a comma for that. I'm creating an indicator for my output, and the default is to get the interactive prompt to pick the desired CSV file. And if you back up the video, you should be able to confirm that these values look exactly like what we had inside the spreadsheet. If we wanted to pull off, say, one column at a time, then I need the index associated with the desired column. And if I want the right-hand column, then I would select index 1. Now you'll notice that each time that the overall VI runs here, we get the prompt for the CSV file. And there's a, a terminal that we can use to specify the path directly. So I'm creating a control here, so that way we simply type this in once and uh, we don't need to get prompted for that over and over again. I'd like to see the path on one line, so I'll stretch that out a bit. And let me try reading the other column in this spreadsheet as well. And that's works. That's working fine. Notice that if you improperly specify the file, we don't get any indication of a problem. All we see is that the values are all zeros. So you have to be exercising some caution here to make sure that you do have your file specified properly. Well, let's try going in the other direction. Uh, you have an array, and you'd like to be able to write that out to a spreadsheet. Again, take a tour of the terminals here. And as before, the delimiter, delimiter excuse me, is the critical one. We need to specify that as a constant. And just to generate some different values, let me use the squaring operation. So I'll square all the elements in the array and then write that out as a two-dimensional data set to the output spreadsheet. So again, since I've not wired a path, then I get the interactive prompt for the name of my file. 
Now remember to call that the CSV extension because we're generating comma separated values. And now when I open that, well, I have to make sure I'm looking for CSV file. There it is. And these do in fact look like the squared values of the original data set in the first spreadsheet. Again, you can use the file path terminal just like we did earlier.